Good night to all my YouTube fans from all over the world. Special shout outs to all of my friends and admirers in Afghanistan. To all the people who are sending me love from Britain, thank you very much. To all the fans in Scotland. Um, across the pond today, we had a very insane incident in the state of Connecticut where a young lady, rather a young woman rather, um, lost her life. It was over a, a dispute about a prom date. Apparently, the young man asked Miss Marin Sanchez to the prom, to the junior prom, and she denied him which infuriated him and he stabbed her to death. Now, this is a very sad incident, not only for the student at that school, but also the entire community um, at large, because it's basically status showing that you cannot be safe anywhere. This young woman just all she did was go to school and due to circumstances she's dead right now. I know that there's a lot of naysayers out there that you know want to keep religion from schools and keep the separation of church and state and a lot of craziness, but tonight I submit that we bring back prayers in the school, man. It, it has to be a better way. It has to be a better way. Somebody has have to say, well, okay, this, this is not working. Somebody has to say, like, okay, something, we have to try something new. Because obviously the psychologists aren't working too well. Okay, obviously the school counselors aren't doing a great job. Okay, when at 16 years old, you could look someone dead in the face and stab them to death. That shows that the demon is working within that individual. Okay. That shows that there's no God dwelling in that individual. I submit tonight that to all my parents who are watching from all over the world, pray with your children. And I also submit that all the people that are watching right now, pray for the children. Because regardless of how you might say well, you know, this incident happened in America, so it doesn't affect me. Or this incident happened in that state, so it doesn't affect me. Trust me, people. It all it affects us all. Because remember, the youths are the future. They are the ones that's going to be taking care of our health care system 50 years from now. Okay? We're not going to have aliens running the, pl the planet. Is the babies, is the teenagers who are going to school today, they're the ones that's going to be the next world leaders. And if we are raising a generation of broken people, what do you expect the world to be like? That's something to really think about. Because if the kids do not have any God within them, there's nothing that says, okay, Thou shall not do this. There's no right and wrong. It's anything that goes. Whatever happens, happens. What's going to happen to the world? Okay, what's going to happen? So, I beg of you, whether you might be living in a small town in Uganda, living in a little village in Guyana, you know, living on the high seas, of Moscow. Please pray with your kids. Finally, I will just like to 
give my condolences to the Sanchez family of Connecticut, of Hartford, Connecticut. Yes. There's no words to express my sorrow to the family, and there's no words that you could say to the grieving mother and father who, are, who have to deal with this loss tonight. Um, my condolences to them. And, you know, it's, it's a little funny to talk about these situations that are so tragic because you don't... It's very difficult to talk about these situations because you don't want to give off the impression that you're exploiting someone's loss. You don't want to give off the impression that you're taking advantage of a bad situation to broadcast your belief or to you know, to slip in a message about God or what have you. If you check my YouTube channel, I stay representing 24-7. Okay, so this is nothing new to me, you know, talking about Christ. But for the people who just were seeing me for the first time, I definitely would like you to please, you know, pray for the young people, Pray for the family. Just pray for the world in general, man, because it's crazy out here. It is crazy out here. Um, people are doing a lot of crazy things, and you don't know where exactly it's going to end. So, um, again, my condolences to the Sanchez family. And also, too, um, my sympathy goes out to the young man's family who, who basically um, committed this crime, you know, I, I, I just don't, I just don't see his family being happy about this. I, I, I just don't see it. I just don't think that, you know, who, wherever he lives, whomever were the last person to see him this morning said, okay, I want you to go to school today and stab this young lady to death. I don't think so. I don't think so. I know there are evil people out there, but I just don't have that type of feeling. So they're suffering too because not only did their son, brother, cousin, whomever, killed someone, there's a possibility that he will never see the light of day again. So it's it so no one nobody won in this situation. It's a great loss. So, this is your boy, DJ Troy, signing off. Have a blessed Sabbath day. And take care of yourself. Peace.